is Miss Yolanda Reese, all the way from Trinidad, and I would have said Tobago, but she corrected me, it's Tobago, Trinidad, Tobago, just north of Venezuela in South America. Yolanda, how are you this evening? I'm really, really good this evening. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> See, there's a reason why I asked you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, Yolanda. What would you like Facebook land to know? Uh, well, um, hold that microphone a little bit closer. Okay, my name is Yolanda Reese. I've been in full-time ministry for the past 22 years. Um, wow. Serving Jesus, um, loving the work of God and the ministry that he has called us to do. Um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So do you write your own music? Uh, yes, I do. Well, not by myself, but the help of the Holy Spirit, most definitely. <laughs> oh, of course. Of yeah, course. It's kind of hard to do it by yourself. Uh, I guess it won't be anointed if you do it that way. <laughs> I think we all understand that. <laughs> <laughs> So it's good to just put that out there, though. It's not for me. It's not for me. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So uh, this first song that you've got for us, tell us a little bit about it. Okay, well, the first song we're doing uh, tonight is called Gift of Love. It's a Christmas song that was written about a year and a half ago, like uh, about a year and a half ago, but was only released uh, early November this year. Mm -hmm. And it has a lot to do with giving love. Um, there's so much people who would like to be able to buy some kind of expensive gift or something like that, but they're unable to do so. And God has given us love that we can give. And that is more valuable than the things you can get in the store and all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. gifts of love have a lot to do with opening up your heart and letting God be God and do what he wants to do and share that love for the Christmas because plenty of people need it. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, let's get started with Gift of Love. Okay. Searching in stores, trying to find the gift of love that comes from inside. You have treasures you can give. It's the presence of the King. Take the time to look inside. It's the love you can deny. Ah, ooh, you can deny. Let's unwrap the gift of love. can buy it, so don't deny it, let's unwrap the gift of love, cause what is Christmas, if you don't give the gift of love, so much love that you can give. There are some who've lost their hope, families and home feeling lost, no joy inside, even wishing they could die, but you were walking miracle, carrying peace to the world, the spirit of life lives inside you, it's the truth you can deny. Money can't buy it, so don't deny it. Let's unwrap the gift of love. Cause what is Christmas if we don't give the gift of love? So much love that you can give, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Remove the wraps from your heart. 
gift of love. That's awesome. What a great way to start us out the week before Christmas, Yolanda. I love that. <laughs> I love that. So it seems pretty self-explanatory, but I always love to talk to artists about their inspiration and how they come to the, uh, just to the, the craft of writing. Where were you and, and what were you, uh, what were you thinking about when you wrote that song? Um, I can't remember. Oh, um, <laughs> I think I was, that was just a that was just a easy <laughs> easy ball right down center play. <laughs> I think I was uh, in church because um, that's where I spent most of my days, if not all my days. Um, I was in church, and we were getting ready for our Christmas concert, and what do you want to give for Christmas? Jesus, he's the best gift that you could offer, uh, give to somebody. And I think that was even during the pan pandemic when some people were losing their families and all of that kind of stuff was going on. And, you know, God is hope. He's hope even if the place seems dark and even if you can't see the door open to help you, God is going to be the light in your life. And he's going to love you and he's going to make everything better because that's who he is. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I preach sometimes as well. So. You know, that is, that's my job is just to get people talking because we're, you know, we're all ministers in our own way. So, you know, this is your time here. <laughs> <laughs> the preach sister. <laughs> you just, nah, we, we could, we could have church. We could have church. We could, that's what we're here for. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh there was one line in that song remove the wrapping from your heart and give the and give the gift of love I, you know i think that just that is so poignant because we all get kind of caught up in our own little worlds and we forget to share that sometimes and we're all called if nothing else we're all called to share the good news right and, and sometimes you're afraid to love. That is, that's the truth. I, I can talk for myself. Like, sometimes you're afraid that if you love, you'll get hurt. Or if you love, somebody will walk out of your life. You're just afraid. And so, if you remove the wrappings from your heart, all the things that you're pretty at up with, and just give the love that's inside of it, mm. love could never be hurt. Right? Jesus died on the cross and he wasn't hurt. He didn't suffer pain. The Bible said that he endured the cross with joy. And so his love was laid bare on the cross for everybody to just, you know, partake of it. And he unwrapped himself. Right? He unwrapped his whole heart and he said to us, you can partake of that as well. And so, yeah, un remove the wrappings, you know. We don't need all the bows. Just give your heart. Wow. Okay. I think we could just have a whole entire... <laughs> A whole night just on that right there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I, I love the, the pictures and the, the way you explain that. That's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So tell us, uh, tell us about your next song. The next song is called Fallen in Love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and is this oh, another one that you wrote? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, um, all these songs um, that I'm doing tonight, the songs that I wrote and awesome. had 
help with the music uh, from one of my brothers in church, Caleb. You know, I shouted him out one time, Caleb. You know, you've been my bro all year, all through all of this. And so, yeah. Yay, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> so, falling in love um, comes from a place where sometimes you forsake your love for God or you forget it, right? You get caught up wanting other things and God finds this way of coming into your heart and just refreshing you and reminding you how much you love him. Not how much he loves you, but how much you love him. And bringing you back, it's like the gentle wooing of God back into his arms, back into his presence. So the song Falling in Love has to do with that. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Yolanda Reese on Red's Room, Saturday night. <laughs> You are lighting up the uh, the comment sections here. Everybody is just digging that that Caribbean sound, that, that island sound. Oh my gosh! Uh, looks like you've got your uh, your friend Caleb, your co writer, on there. He's uh, he's cheering you on, sister. <laughs> 
I love it. I love it. So as we speak, I've got I've got two a two monitor system. I'm not actually using the second monitor, so I just got my uh, my picture on there. My homepage picture is of the beach, looking into an ocean sunset. So I am just right there, like steel drums. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Christmas in the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, Christmas in the Caribbean. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so fun. I love that. I that's love what, that's what that's what falling in love with God should feel like. <laughs> I agree. I agree. You know, sometimes sometimes love isn't isn't is as exciting and fun like that. Sometimes, you know, it's more quiet, but I like your way better. <laughs> Let's shout it out to the whole world. Let's share it. Amen. Amen. So you said that you have been a, a worship minister now for about 20 years? I've been in full-time ministry for 22 years. Okay. Uh, How'd you get started? I saved when I was uh, 14 years old. And um, when I was 16, I had like a real encounter with God. And mm -hmm. I was on my way to the United States on a full-time scholarship. And... Serving God seemed to be making more sense at that time, and it still seems like the best choice ever. So I just like gave all those things up and say I'm going to serve God with my life, give him my strength, give him everything that he gave to me, give it back to him. And so from the age of 18, I went into full-time ministry up until now. Wow. That's amazing that you just... <laughs> God just got got hold of you and said, "No, nope, this isn't the way I want you to go. I want you." <laughs> it, I don't think it, it was more like this is the way I want to go. I want to go towards you, God. Uh, I I I understand when people say like God took a hold of them and they have to do this and they have to do that. For me, it's more like I want to do it. Okay, it makes sense because when you see people's lives change through prayer. When you can hear God's voice speaking to people and you can see the transformation that takes place in their life, marriages being healed, people physically being healed, delivered and set free. And the ministry that I'm in, uh, it's Heavenly Lights Ministry, and our prophet there has poured so much into us as ministers so that we just give back. And I totally enjoy doing that. It's like, yeah, this is what life is supposed to be for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool that's so cool yeah. that you know because sometimes sometimes it's not so clear you know but that you had it so very very clear it's so very young 18 yeah wow wow I didn't know anything at 18 <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was maybe one brain cell bouncing around in this head <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh, I'm supposed to go do that. Okay, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> go to college. Okay, I'll go to college. <laughs> For what? I don't know. <laughs> well, and, and that's the thing. God like gives it. you purpose. The Holy Spirit gives uh -huh. you purpose. And and so if you trust him, and, and I think it's just like if you trust him, he's gonna lead you in the paths of all righteousness and in all truth. Mm -hmm. At the end of your life, you want to be able to say you did something meaningful. You want to be able to say that I served God and I served people. I loved people because if you chase after all the other things that the whole world chase after and at the end you don't really have a relationship with Jesus, then you can't put your car on your back and go to heaven. What was <laughs> those, it those, things to, those things going to fall off. And so I yeah. thank God for giving me the opportunity to see that early and young so that I can give him all that I am in this moment. That's amazing. I love that. I love that. Uh, it's a beautiful testimony. Thank you for sharing. So what you got next for us, Yolanda? Looking forward oh. to <laughs> I'm going to fix my light while we're doing it. <laughs> okay. the, ne the next song is called Holy Ghost. Awesome. <laughs> Red and they were dancing too at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Take it away. Okay.
choice food to talk for me. This banquet lovely. This banquet lovely. Holy. on red's room i love it i love it i think we you had got us all dancing on that one <laughs> i would tell red in the back and he's like <laughs> hey man, that's good that's, that's a good thing <laughs> it's a very good thing i love your energy i love your energy so is that i mean i've got to think that's just inspired by your environment that you know that just that island vibe and everything go it you know i don't I think, so. I think i think it's inspired by the holy spirit for true because okay. no i i just you know i have all the environment that i am in mm-hmm. like today i was telling somebody it must be heaven <laughs> you know because sometimes you see people in church and they're not happy mm. I believe that church is supposed to be a place people will want to go to. Not mm-hmm. feeling like if they have to go to it. <laughs> <laughs> True. You no, know, and, and to see God give people joy in like moments of deep grief and sorrow. And when the whole world is saying no. One of the things I have learned over the years is that you don't need to have money in your pocket. You don't need to have a big house. You don't have to have a fancy car. You don't have to have husbands, wife, kids, all yeah. these things to be happy. Because the Holy Spirit himself is happiness. The Bible said that he came to give us joy and that's in abundance. He came to make our joy complete. He came to give us joy and that in full. Right? So you cannot serve God and not be happy. <laughs> you cannot serve Jesus and not have joy. I think if we're serving God and we don't have joy, you're missing something. You're missing and if you something. ask God, yeah, you're missing something. And if you ask God, He is going to give you that joy unspeakable and full of glory. In Hebrews, it said that He gives us the oil of joy and sets us above our companions. And if the people in the world looking sad and you're in church looking sad, then we don't need to have church, right? We 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 need to have 
I don't know, something else, but when that joy is found in Christ, when you have found that relationship with Jesus and he begins to make things in your life make sense, yeah. blessings follow. And so, yeah, that energy is 100% Jesus. <laughs> I, yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. I think people get confused with happiness and joy. You know, happiness is an emotion. It's fleeting. It's, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm happy, you know, but joy, joy is a choice. Joy is deep. And, you know, you, you choose joy, even yeah. in pain, you can be joyful. You can choose to find reasons to be joyful. And that's from God. So, Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and one more thing I, I would like to say is that, you know, sometimes you might be hurting and you feel as though, okay, that person just happy in Jesus and they're insensitive to my emotions or they're insensitive to my feelings. It's not that they're insensitive, it's that they're saying you don't have to remain there. Yeah. And so I believe that if people realize that they don't have to remain in a situation that God could bring them out, you don't have to remain depressed, you don't have to remain frustrated. God could bring you out by the power of his spirit. <laughs> You make me sort of preach you. <laughs> God could bring you out by the power of the Spirit. It's not just words. He said, I didn't come with just words, but a demonstration of the Spirit's power. And the Spirit's power pull you out of whatever situation, whatever circumstance that you're in. He's going to bring you out. Even if you've been suffering any kind of hurt, and Christmas is not something that you totally enjoy, and you wish that the season would just pass. Mm. My birthday is in December, right? So, um, the 28th of December, so it's coming. Happy birthday. And for years, I used to feel as if Jesus got all the attention and my birthday just got ignored, right? <laughs> this is a true, 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 true statement, yeah. And I remember one year, the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, if you celebrate my birthday with me, I will celebrate your birthday with you. And oh. since then, I enjoy Christmas. <laughs> and I enjoy my birthday. And, you know... You could enjoy Christ. You could enjoy your life, right? Yeah. Your situation don't have to change. You have to change. Because once you change, your situation changes. And Amen. that's what God does for us. It's a perspective change. Amen. I love how you put that. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. So tell me, sister, you got one more song for us? One more. Awesome. This tell is a Christmas song. Yay. <laughs> It's never been released, so it's going to be heard here. Uh, I've sung it in church um, a few times, but the first time it's going to be public. Awesome. Well, we are honored. <laughs> and it's called Joy to the World. So I don't know. I feel like if God just sets us up with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Just now, one second. What? Wow. 
was not expected was the joy he brought to the world. We're celebrating Jesus, light of the world. to the world. gosh i your your joy is infectious i don't think anyone could be in your presence and not be joyful <laughs> i love you so much and i barely even know you sister so <laughs> this we, is we, we know each other in spirit <laughs> oh absolutely absolutely we are absolutely related sisters and all of that but <laughs> but that aside here is the portion of the evening where I say, promote thyself, wonderful artist. Where can we find you? Uh, so you can find my music on Spotify, on Amazon, on Apple Music, um, YouTube, and some of the other ones that we pay the show to put this on. All right, and it's all under Yolanda uh, Reese? It's all under um, Yolanda Reese. You can find Till Toned still underscore toned underscore music on Instagram and on TikTok and on Facebook. So, but Yolanda Reese on YouTube and everywhere else. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, it has been a joy getting to know you and thank you so much for blessing us with your music tonight. Thank you so much for having me. It was indeed a pleasure. <laughs>